10 cars to avoid for bad transmission. We all know that a bad transmission renders the vehicle completely unreliable. They are costly to repair and no one wants to deal with them. Automatic transmissions can fail for a variety of reasons and according to consumer reports, some models have a significantly higher failure rate than others. Welcome back to our channel and in this video, we are going to tell you the top 10 cars to avoid for a bad transmission. Grab a snack and take down some notes because if you're looking for a good car, steer clear of these 10 options. Number 10, 2012 to 2013 Chevy Traverse. This particular one has a slew of issues that are jeopardized Chevy's dependability and trustworthiness. The 2012 to 2013 Traverse model, the three-row mid-sized SUV, is equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission and a 3.6-liter V6 engine. The Traverse suffered from delayed park throttle downshifts as the transmission clung on the higher gears to help with fuel economy. When the downshift did arrive, it wasn't particularly smooth. All of this, combined with the associated engine noise, made the SUV feel slow and unreliable. It's been going on for years, said a 2013 Traverse owner. We drove up the mountains today, and the car couldn't shift properly. It was constantly looking for a gear, and when I went to pass, it would swerve and catch when downshifting, he continued. The car has been given the lowest reliability ratings for the 2012 to 2013 model years, owing primarily to transmission and drive system issues. Number 9. The 2016 Nissan Altima Despite having a spacious back seat and good fuel economy, the Nissan Altima is not viable among mid-sized sedans. The 2016 Altima is a poor choice in a segment brimming with better vehicles. The 2.5-liter four-cylinder and optional 3.5 liter V6 engine are matched up to continuously variable transmission. The CVT transmission was first used to create gear shifts and a higher engine performance capability, but it backfired to poor reliability issues in specific models and brands. It ranks below virtually all of its competitors with a dull driving experience and a below power reliability record. And according to Consumer Reports data, the 2016 Nissan Altima has a deficient trend of CVT transmission failure that commonly occurs between 42 and 77,000 miles and replacing a CVT transmission mission is not cheap. On average, it can cost $4,000. Number 8. 2011 to 2016 Nissan Rogue The 170 horsepower 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine in the 2011 the Nissan Rogue provides decently strong acceleration with the CVT transmission. While the CVT allows for better fuel efficiency on the compact SUV, its rubber band-like feel may leave many drivers uneasy. According to Consumer Reports, transmission failures began at around 94,000 miles, which isn't too bad. But in a time when subs are expected to last 200,000 miles or more. This isn't a great distance to have a major component fail at drivers reported various ongoing issues with road transmission including leaks, rough shifting, slipping transmission, and overheating. Number 7. The 2014 Infiniti QX60 Many car buyers may think that a used Infiniti QX60 is an excellent luxury family vehicle. This may be true for more current model years, but the further back you go, the more problematic it becomes. Consumer Reports noted a 1 out of 5 reliability rating and ownership satisfaction rating for the QX60, with most of the negative feedback attributed to the vehicle's CVT transmission problems, and the typical mileage when problems occur is stated as 90,000 miles. It's unfortunate that one Infiniti QX60 owner left a review on Consumer Reports saying that the CVT has already been repaired once and is starting to exhibit the same problems less than 10,000 miles down, and that this is just unacceptable quality in a $5,000 or more vehicle. Believe me, if you're looking for a used midsize SUV, you do well to steer away from this car for obvious reasons, especially the older model years. Number 6. The 2011 to 2014 Ford Fiesta A used Ford Fiesta may appear to be a smart option for a budget-conscious buyer, but if you plan to buy one, you may be better off trying to dodge the 2011 to 2014 model years, which had the most complaints. According to John Avetz, a chief mechanic, problems with the Fiesta's transmission can lead to a variety of issues such as overheating, slipping gears, and holding onto a gear for too long. Minor issues can eventually lead to disastrous failure, rendering the vehicle undurable. According to Consumer Reports, this subcompact car has the lowest reliability and owner satisfaction ratings. Number 5. The 2011 to 2013 Nissan Murano With a powerful V6 engine, the Murano is a mid-size premium 5 seater SUV with an upscale interior and many high-end features and a continuously variable transmission with front or all-wheel drive. The Murano had few reliability issues when compared to other Nissan vehicles, but in the model years, 2011 to 2013 Murano was not immune to CVT failures. Consumer reports show that transmission is the only major problem that has 
reduced Murano's overall reliability to 3 out of 5. As one member reported, the transmission failed just as the warning expired, and I had to write to Nissan's CEO to get compensated for approximately $1,600, which took many months. When test driving a used Murano, pay close attention to how the CVT transmission operates. A complaining or wearing noise, a lack of power or shutter on acceleration, or delayed involvement all indicate problems. CVT problems often appear after some time has passed and the transmission fluid has warmed up completely. Number 4. The 2019 Kia Forte These days, Kia produces high-quality vehicles, and unfortunately, some are problematic. The Kia Forte is one of Kia's most popular and best-selling vehicles, but it has had its fair share of problems, some of which have afflicted the car for years. Unlike the other automobiles we've seen so far, the Kia Forte's transmission began to malfunction very early. According to Consumer Reports, when a problem occurs, the typical mileage is between 12,000 and 23,000 miles. One Forte owner stated that their transmission failed at only 4,000 miles and that it took 44 days for the transmission to be replaced under warranty. Number 3. The 2012-2017 to Ford Focus If you can avoid the problematic model years, the Ford Focus is a good compact car at an affordable price point. Transmission problems plagued owners of the 2014 Ford Focus the most, but even though 2012 and 2013 models were also impacted, most concerns cite severe hesitation and jerking when advancing from a stop. These issues aren't isolated either, and more concerning was that the problems were starting to surface on an average between 30 and 60,000 miles. Owners of Ford Focus did not take the transmission failures loosely, and a flurry of class action lawsuits began to emerge, with settlements made to affected owners. Okay, but before we push through the last two, please click the subscribe button and help YouTube send this to other viewers like you. Number 2. The 2013-2014 to Nissan Pathfinder The long-running Pathfinder was transformed from a truck-based workhorse to a soft, gentler car-based SUV with three rows and seven seats. The powertrain combining a 260-horsepower, 3.5-liter V6 with a continuously variable transmission. Consumer reports gave the 2014 NIS on Pathfinder the lowest reliability rating for the 2013 and 2014 model years. Transmission and drivetrain were the primary trouble spots reported by owners, and the typical mileage when a problem occurs was 58,000 miles. Additionally, the NHTS recalled the 2014 Nissan Pathfinder 10 times for various issues. If you have your heart set on a used Nissan Pathfinder as your next SUV, remember to do your research to ensure you're not purchasing a model with a slew of costly issues, recalls, or safety issues. And finally, at number 1, the 2012-2015 to Nissan Sentra. Yes, the Nissan Sentra compact sedan is known to be seen all over the used car market and appears to be an affordable and reliable option for new drivers, but model years from 2012 to 2015 have some of the most frequent consumer reports showing poor reliability rating driven by major transmission issues. A 2013 Sentra owner stated transmission malfunction while driving leaving transmission fluid and little metal bits all over the road. The Sentra's 130 horsepower 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine is paired with the CVT transmission. The combination is tirelessly noisy, the ride is rigid and rubbery, and the handling is unexpectedly incompetent for such a small and light car. These 2014 models received revised CVT suspension and steering tuning, but these changes did not enhance the overall impression of the underwhelming Sentra. And that's it for the top 10 cars to avoid bad transmission. Have you experienced driving any of these cars yet? Let us know your thoughts and experiences down below. Hope you liked this video, and please don't forget to like, comment, and hit the notification bell to get more updates from us. See you in the next video. Bye!